this is Judy from the Huron County Community Library and I'm excited today to tell you about our ornament week. Beginning December 7th, you're going to have a choice of five different ornament kits. So we're going to start out with this Danish paper star. Now this is inspired by an ornament that they make in Denmark and hang on their trees, but that ornament was inspired by an ornament from Germany called a Frobel star. I did a little research. It's actually made of paper strips that are folded together to form a star. And it was named after Frederick Froebel, who actually started the concept of kindergarten, and he thought playing with paper was a creative thing for children to do, so they named this paper star after him. So we're going to start with two four-inch squares of scrapbooking paper with a Christmas theme. And we're going to do some folds, and if you've ever done origami, you've probably done these folds many times. For the first fold, we're going to fold the printed side in, and I'm going to put the straight edges together fold like that. And I'm going to go kind of quickly here because they're written instructions with the kit that are very good with pictures or you can play this video back. Then we're going to turn it the other way, make a fold there. Now I'm going to fold with the white side in and I'm going to fold a diagonal. So I'm going to match the corners up, make a fold, turn it the other way, match the corners up and make a fold. So when you're done you're going to have folds that look like that. Okay, and our next part is you'll need a pen and a ruler. And I'm going to measure an inch in from the straight side on that fold I made. I'm going to make a little mark. And this is going to help us form the points on our star. And then I'm going to cut that mark, that line, up to that mark I made. So I'll be making four cuts. And then I'm going to fold these in to form the points of our star. And I'm going to do this with both squares. So I'm going to take this corner where the cut was, and I'm going to fold it in toward that center fold. You can see the line there where we folded it diagonally. And I want to make sure I have a little point there, right up to that fold, give it a good crease. Then I'm going to fold the other side in the same way. Make sure you keep this little point up here at the top until they meet. And I'm going to do that with all four corners. So one more to finish this one off. And like I said, you're going to do both of these squares exactly the same way. Now comes the gluing part. So I'm going to take one of the flaps and I'm going to cover that with glue. And it doesn't matter which flap, but me being left-handed, of course, I'm going to do the left side. If you're right-handed, you might want to do the other side. And this is important. I'm going to put my finger under this flap, and I'm going to pull that one over it. I don't want to flatten this down. So putting my finger under there keeps it from getting flat. And then I would do all four star points the same way. So it would be look something like this, and here's the other side, it gives it a three-dimensional look that way. And I just took some glue, a couple of dots of glue right here, and glued our string hanger on. So I did both of these the same way, now we're ready to assemble it. So I'm going to put glue right kind of at the corner base of each of our little star arms. And then I'm going to take the other side, and I want to turn it so that they're alternating the points are. Like that, I want to give it a little press to hold it together, kind of even it up there. And once that dries, we'll have our Danish paper star. Okay, well, let me show you the other ornaments we're going to be doing, and they're really simple. And the instructions are in the kit that you'll be getting. So our second ornament will be this little snowman snow globe. Everything came, here came from Dollar Tree except the ribbon. So this is a mason jar ornament. The snowmen are two for a dollar. They have other ornaments. And the, they have the fake snow. And I took double-sided foam tape and stuck on the bottom of the snowman and then just stuck him to the inside of the lid. And that also I got a Dollar Tree. Our next little ornament is this really cute owl made from a wine cork. 
And no, we didn't take up drinking here at the library to accumulate these wine corks. I bought them at Amazon. So uh, not, not even Dollar Tree this time. And if you watched my last video, this is felted wool I cut the little wings from, and the rest is just felt, and some black beads for the eyes that we glued on, a little screw eye, and some jute to hanging with. Here's some more wood slices. We also ordered these from Amazon, unless you want to go out and cut your tree down and cut some limbs off. So that's just tied together with some string. And if you'll notice when you get your kit, the bottom one only has one hole. The other ones have two holes, so when you start assembling, you'll want to pay attention to that. We glued some buttons on. We cut some pieces of fleece we had left over from something else for his scarf. We actually did buy the stick-on nose and eyes and his arms from a kit at, I believe we were at Hobby Lobby, and then just took a Sharpie and drew his little mouth on. Easy enough for children to do any of these would be. And our last ornament is a styrofoam ball. It's called a patchwork ornament. It has squares of fabric here. You're going to take some Mod Podge, put a little on the styrofoam, stick your square on top of there, put some more Mod Podge on top of the fabric. And then when you're all done, you're just going to glue your pieces of ribbon around the sides. For the little hanger here, I glued the ribbon on the bottom of the button first, and then I glued the button on top of the styrofoam. So there you have it, five ornaments for your Christmas tree. Happy holidays, everyone.